Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, yeah, so I'm Janet Boy, CFO of Bacanora Lithium PLC. I'm here to talk about Bacanora, who we are, and what we plan to do over the next few years. So who is Bacanora? Bacanora is an AIM-listed lithium development company. Our vision is to become the next major lithium producer in the world. And this is through the development of our projects. And we've got two projects. The first one, and which is our core focus at the moment, is what we call the Sonora Lithium Project. This is based in Mexico. The intention for this project is to produce battery-grade lithium carbonate product for distribution to Asia via our offtake partners, Gangfen and Hanwha. And Hanwha is one of the leading battery chemical traders in Japan, while Gangfen is one of the largest lithium producer in the world. And I'll talk about this project in more detail later on. The second project is what we call the Zinwald Lithium Project, which is based in Germany. And the Zinwald Lithium Project, the purpose here is to produce battery-grade lithium fluoride product with intention to distribute these products in Germany as well as the European market. We've recently published a feasibility study for the Zinwald Lithium Project, which gave the project 430 million euros in MPV and an IR of 27%. And because we have limited time, I'll talk about Sonora Project in more detail at this presentation. Major shareholders we have, we've got MNG, we've got Hanwha, Cadence, um, Igneous Capital, and subject to the completion of the Gangfeng, we'll have Gangfeng as one of our major shareholders. There's a lot of lithium sources out there. There's a lot of lithium suppliers and potential new players in the market. But not all of these suppliers and not all of these sources can produce battery-grade lithium products. Our main focus at the moment, the Sonora Lithium Project, the product that we will be producing is the downstream battery-grade lithium carbonate product. With the demand expected to increase coming from the battery market, with the pricing, contract pricing in particular, remaining strong, if you look at the pricing for battery-grade lithium carbonate product, it's about $13,000 per ton. These factors provide an excellent platform for Bacanora's growth. And this is gonna be through our Sonora Lithium Project in Mexico. So the project is based in the state of Sonora. Um, Sonora is based in the northwest part of Mexico. Bacanora Sonora Project is about 170 kilometers south of the US border. It's about four hours drive from the capital of a state called Hermosillo. And you find on the west coast, you find a port called Port of Guaymas. That is the port that we will be using to ship the goods out of Mexico to Asia via our offtake partners, Gangfeng and Hanwha. We published a feasibility study in 2018, which gave this project an NPV of $1.25 billion and an IR of 27%. This is a photo of the deposit. It lies within mountain ranges. It's about 900 meters above sea level. And in terms of geology, I'm not a, I'm not a geologist, but in simple terms, volcanic events created this depression, and you've got alkaline elements remaining in the chamber. So this deposit has been created by tufaceous volcanic ashes. So when the volcanic ashes got in contact with water, they created the clay, when they got in contact with the alkaline elements, lithium mineral rich deposits were formed. We've got a total of 10 licenses, mining licenses in Sonora. Only seven of these licenses have been included in the feasibility study. And in terms of stratigraphy, you've got capping basalt, you've got red sandstone, and what we call the upper clay, which is a mineralized zone. It's about 22 meters to 70 meters thick, followed by ignimbrite, followed by another mineralized zone, which is called lower clay. It's about 20 to 40 meters thick, and then your basement. So effectively, this deposit is made up of two lake beds with an igneum right in between. Total strike length, seven kilometers north to south. We've done drilling for only about a third of the license area, and that gave us 8.8 .8 million tons of resources or in terms of number of years, 250 years life of mine. And beyond that, there's still significant exploration upside. 
We've been operating a pilot plant in Hermosillo for the last four years. And not only has this pilot plant given us proof of concept, it has given evidence that we can produce battery grade lithium carbonate product. It also facilitated training for our staff. We've got strong 45 employees in Mexico, fully able, fully familiarized with the process and can produce battery grade lithium carbonate product. In the years of operation, we've been sending samples to different customers such as Panasonic, Sumitomo, and they liked our product. As a result of that, they've introduced us to one of their battery chemical suppliers, Hanwa. And Hanwa did an extensive DD for 18 months. And not only was their purpose to determine whether we can produce and reproduce battery grade lithium carbonate product, but whether we can produce the quality that they believe will be in demand in the next five years, in the next 10 years. So as the EV businesses grow, as the travel ranges increases, your charging time decreases, the cathode chemistry becomes more and more sophisticated. So they wanted to understand whether we can produce the quality of the battery grade that would support specs that they believe would not only be required now, but also will be in five years, 10 years time. And as a result of that DD, they became a 10% shareholder of the business and an offtake partner for the next 10 years. This is the process flow sheet. It's nice and simple. It's what we call the conventional sulfate rose process. Uh, the process has been introduced by the Germans since the 1930s. It's the same process as what the Chinese used to convert the spodium into battery grade lithium products. So the first step is, of course, mining. Mining for this asset is easy. It's, it's an open pit mine. Strip ratio is three to one. For the next couple of years, it's almost nil because the upper clay and the lower clay are already exposed. Soft rock, it's clay, it's friable. There's no need to drill and blast, making this process cost effective. So we mine the ore, then we feed the ore into a trommelin screen. There's no need to crush and grind, again, making this cost effective. You only need to remove the oversized material. So anything above 6 mm. Below 6 mm, we roast it. Um, and this is where the sulfate rose process is all about. If you're a spodumene producer, you would typically need sulfuric acid, which costs about $150 per ton to, to do the roasting. In our process, we've got what we call the sodium sulfate, which is a waste product that we recycle from the back end of the process to the front end of the process as a reagent. Again, making this process more cost effective. So we roast the product, to about 1,000 degrees, half an hour to an hour, and we create what we call lithium sulfate. And then through evaporation, precipitation, we then add a reagent called soda ash. So um, Na2CO3, you add Li2SO4, you create Li2CO3. And at this stage, we would have produced industrial grade, technical grade lithium carbonate product, which sells about $9,000 per ton. And this is where our ore body really works for us because it's relatively easy for us to get to an industrial grade lithium carbonate product because the level of contaminants that we've got at the ore body. And then through a series of solvent exchange, iron exchange, we further purify the product. We remove contaminants such as magnesium, calcium, potassium, sodium. And at that stage, we've created and produced battery grade 99.5% even better lithium carbonate product, which sells at about $13,000 per ton. And this whole process takes about three to five days if you include the mining. So it's significantly quicker than your brine producers because the brine producers takes about 18 months to 24 months because they're weather dependent. And it's significantly cheaper than your hard rock producers. Our process costs about $4,000 per ton, for hard rock producers, including conversion costs, it costs about $10,000 per ton. So we've got the best of both worlds. In terms of feasibility study, $1.25 billion of NPV. This is based on a two-stage production. The first stage, we're producing 17,500 tons. And then we intend to double that production in four years' time to 35,000 tons. Capital cost is $420 million and on top of that $50 million of working capital. Simple pay payback period is four years. 
We're also intending to produce a byproduct called sulfate of potash, SOP. Sells about $500, $550 per ton on a long-term contract price basing. This is a graph uh, that's based on Canaccord's graph. You can see here the post-2025 cost curve for existing as well as potential lithium players in the market. And what you can see here is clearly the difference between your more traditional Latin American brand producers and your hard rock producers. So your brand producers, the Chileans and Argentinians, cost about $4,000 to $5,000 per ton. And then your hard rock producers, the Australians, the Chinese, cost about $8,000 to $10,000 per ton. Um, Talisman, green bushes is different from the rest of the, the product. Uh, the assets are about $5,000, $6,000 per ton in terms of cost of production. And Bacanora sits well within the low cost curve. So it gives us advantageous position as we can weather through the market cycles as we move to production. So who are the strategic partners of Sonor? The first one is Gangfen Lithium. We've signed an MOU with them. They would put in 29.9% at the corporate level. In addition to that, they intend to put in 22.5% at the asset level with an option to increase this to 50% in the next two years. They're also an offtake partner, so they would take 50% of the stage one production for the life of mine and then up to 75% for stage two production. Hanwha, which is a 10% shareholder of the business, they're also taking 10, 50% of the stage one production for the next 10 years. They've also committed to putting in additional $25 million into the development of Sonora. And then RK, we've entered a debt facility of $150 million with them. Um, that was entered into last year, um, very committed to fully developing the Sonora Lithium project. So what are the next steps? So we've done the feasibility study, that's done. We've got the mining permits. We've got the environmental permits, that's thick. We've got, we own the land, so we purchased the land. We've got the land and the surface rights. We've got offtake agreements with Gangfeng and Hanwha. We intend to complete the Gangfeng transaction investment over the next month, following which we intend to complete the remaining funding requirement to fully construct the Sonora Lithium project. After that, we then intend to embark on a two-year construction stage with the intention to build the project and commission the plant in 2021-2022 um, with a 12 months ramp up be fully in 17 and a half thousand tons production by 2022, 2023. That covers my presentation. Um, if you have any questions on Sonora or if you want to discuss more about Zinwald project, I'm around the conference until tomorrow and I'm also based in London if you want to meet. Thank you very much.